In this presentation, we're going to have an introduction to replenishment for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we look at the options we have. Then we look at the process. First, calculate suggestions, review them, create orders. We go through some recommendations and we finish by presenting the other presentation we'll have on replenishment. So the options we have, requisition worksheets, order planning, and on the manufacturing, a third option is the planning worksheet. So let's start and have a look in purchase planning at the order planning. So this is the simplest one. Let's, we have all kind of demand. We'll just, for the example, choose a sales demand and it is presented order by order. So let's look at the last one. We have one sales order with one line to replenish and the system suggests to order four. So if we click on show, <coughs> on show document, we can see we have a sales order, 15, and the system asks, we have only have four available, because we have nine in stock, we have a purchase order of two, so 11 minus the 15 sales order, so that means we need 4, and that's what the system is suggesting. What the order planning doesn't take into account is any rules we've put on the uh, minimum, maximum, stock safety, any rule for replenishment. So it takes into account the existing inventories, sales, purchase, but it doesn't take into account any rules on the stock keeping unit or the item card. So we could, we could take into account the other uh, demand like production, So let's uh, finish that example by creating the order. So for just for the line we are in and here we say make purchase order and a second limitation is, uh, on the production side is level by level. It doesn't, it would not include any multiple level of production orders. So one purchase order has been created with the quantity of four. So it could be used in very simple scenarios. The other method, the requisition worksheet, which is the most widely used. If we take the same example, so we go and we calculate the plan. We're going to ask NAV to tell us what to replenish. Starting date, that's the date of the order we want to create, so today. And ending date, so, uh, up to which date do we want to take into account any demand. So let's put two, two months in advance. We could filter it by anything on the item card and we put a location filter. Okay, now the system suggests 60, and if we go on the order tracking, we will have an explanation of, of how the system get to the 60. Quantity here we have a 4 for our sales order as before, and here we have the different parameters that the system used. So it used parameters to uh, on the stock keeping unit or the item card to replenish 
Now we finish that by clicking on carry out action message and as before we have a purchase order created. So the requisition worksheet is more advanced. It takes one thing to notice on the purchase order. If you go at the line and look at the receive date, expected receive date, it's 22 of November, but on the header it's still today. So that's not great and that probably, probably would need to be changed so that when you print it here on the standard report, I don't think we're showing any dates. So I would recommend to change the expected receipt date in the header as well, especially if you print that on your purchase order. Now let's see how to do the replenishment with worksheets. You can use a planning or requisition worksheet. They're pretty similar. The difference is that with the planning worksheet, it's a bit more comprehensive because you can create not only production and transfer orders, but also production orders. So you, you have the calculate plan. You put a starting date as today and order date up to when you want to forecast. Here the system suggests to reorder 60 and we're going to create the purchase orders. So one purchase order has been created, taking into account the quantity on inventory, sales purchase, and also the stock parameters. So 60 has been uh, purchased. Now let's look at one field that is called planning flexibility, and we change the behavior of that field in the, at Match Business Solution. So let's assume that we already printed or sent that purchase order. And by default, it's set to unlimited. And we change that to known. So let's go back and put that as unlimited. Recalculate the plan. OK. And what we've done before, we created another sales order. And the system is suggesting to change the existing purchase order which is questionable because we already sent it. Let's look at the location by a location. So by you could have all your just one batch to uh, reorder. And if you don't put any location filter, let's see what what's happening. So system suggests to create some purchase order for these two items. One for location silver, one for location white. If we leave it like that and we see at the, we look at the purchase order created. So it says location silver on the header, but on the lines you have the two locations. So probably in many scenarios the supplier will uh, have some difficulties to uh, accept that purchase order that needs to be delivered in two different locations. So we recommend to use different batches, one per location, and to use the location filter all the time. So here, yeah, we say ship to address only to location filter. Recommendation on the parameters on the stock keeping units. You can, you have some parameters on, so that's uh, our different uh, location first. And in standard nav, you have the parameters on the stock keeping unit card. Let's say it's a combination of item and location. But you can see also parameters on the item card. If you use more than one location, 
we recommend that you hide all the planning information on the item card because it is not relevant. You will do it per location. Some location may want more stocks than others, so it's a bit confusing. So what we just do, we removed the planning tab and on the replenishment tab we may just keep we may hide some fields like vendors but if you use the same vendor for all location you can keep it so now we can't be wrong we know the parameters are on the uh, stock keeping unit not on the item card some recommendation how to update the stock keeping units parameters the challenge is to maintain and update your parameter stock parameters here on the stock keeping unit card and in NAV depending on your reordering policy not all the fields are activated however if you have a couple of locations like here with uh, a number of items it makes a lot to maintain and instead of doing it one by one card by in a card in uh, at match business solution we've put that first simply as a list where you could first filter it with some like the vendor posting uh, some item category and we set the parameters here that are changeable so you may not need all of them so you only display the ones that you need and you can change them you can change them directly in the list so much quicker so that would be a first step to make it easier you can use also the last modified date to see what you've changed recently you can look at the existing uh, inventory sales okay as a second step you could have you could use the edit in excel it's uh, not out of the box in nav but it's uh, made by someone from microsoft that uh, released that on the uh, on the web freddy so here an example instead of doing that in the list I've exported that to Excel and yes then you can use Excel to uh, uh, to make it quicker so I'm changing something here and if I go back on the dynamics nav tab save changes so data is already directly loaded into nav so that's the second alternative else you could build some engine or use some existing uh, engines written some by some partners to update your uh, stock information a recommendation to use forecast and sales blanket blanket orders so if you use blanket orders the system can use them for the replenishment so you could give in advance what are your what your sales are going to be for some customers and you can use also forecast to say item by item per per time period what are your prediction or how do you think your your sales are going to be so in a later presentation we're going to talk about the replenishment system and the reordering policy with all the parameters so we cover that in uh, another video